no, we're going to explore something interesting today. We're going to get to positive and negative square roots. So what is the positive square root of one? Okay, what is a square root? Well, a square root is something that when you multiply it by itself, gives you the original answer, the original number in the question. So one times one equals one. So one is the square root of one. The reason they say that is it's basically, it's basically the idea is if you have a square that has area one, what do its sides have to be? One, right? Because area is length times width. So it's the square root. So if you had a square that had area 49, even if you don't know a lot about squares, just go with it. Say this area on the inside is 49. What do the sides have to be? Well, this has to be 7, and this has to be 7, and 7 times 7 is 49. So the square root is 7. What is the positive square root of 100? Oh, you guys know this. I bet you can guess. So this square here has area 100. Imagine you live in a room that's 100 square feet. It's not that small. Maybe that's like a bathroom or something. Um, so you've got 10 and 10. And 10 times 10 is equal to 100. So 10 is a positive square root. Ah, okay. So let's just pretend that word negative isn't there, right? Because we're, we were feeling good about positive square roots. So we've got 81. And we know that 9 times 9 is 81. 9 times 9 is 81. But something interesting happens. What's, what's interesting is that if you instead do negative 9 times negative 9, the negatives cancel, and you still get 81. So negative 9 is also a square root of 81. So you basically find a square root, you can make it negative, it'll still be a square root, right? So what's the square root of 16? Well, 4 times 4 equals 16. But so does negative 4 times negative 4, because the negatives cancel out. So negative 4. How about this negative square root of 36? Okay, 6 times 6 is 36, so negative 6. What is plus or minus the square root of 64? That's just a way of saying, give me both square roots at once. I'm greedy. I want them both. So the square root of 64, we know 8 times 8 is 64. So 8 is one square root, but negative 8 is another square root. So a way of writing both of them, two answers, is to say plus or minus 8. This is just language for what we just did, right? What is a positive and negative square root? So 5 times 5 equals 25. And so does negative 5 times negative 5. So 5 and negative 5 are square roots. So we can just say plus or minus 5 if we're lazy. We have to write 5 twice. I guess we save like half a second. Uh, so we could say 8 times 8 is 64. So we can say 8 or negative 8 or plus or minus 8. And what is the positive square root? Positive and negative square root of 81? That's just the same thing we just did, right? So what do you think? Plus or minus 9. Now, what I want to do, first I want to see what's, what the Lex level is. Oh, okay. So what's the positive square root of 169? Well, 13 times 13 equals 169. So... The positive square root wouldn't be negative 13, right? They're only asking for positive. 
So it'd just be 13. And the numbers are going to get bigger, but the idea isn't going to change. Now, here's a fun fact. I mean, this is something worth doing, right? Write out the squares. Write out one squared and two squared. Just And just remember them, right? So write out one times one and two times two and three times three and four times four and five times five. And just, you know, this is one. 4, 9, 16, 25, what's 6 times 6? 36, 7 times 7, 49, 8 times 8, 64, 9 times 9, 81, we'll do a couple more, 10 times 10, 100, 11 times 11, so this you might not remember, but it's worth knowing, 121. 12 times 12, 144. 13 times 13, 169. And usually people stop here if they get here. But you might as well do a couple more. So let's, let's say, well, so for instance, in this case, because this, what's the square root of 81? If you kind of know these in your head, you can just be like, oh, I know it's 9. I know it's plus or minus 9. If they ask, what's the square root of 144? You could say, oh, I know it's 12. What's the square root of 169? Oh, I recognize that. It's 13. Or it's negative 13, if they want the plus or the minus. Um, there's some other cool pictures I could show you. Like, if you look at a chessboard, I can't draw the whole thing, but one squared would be one of these, two squared would be these, three squared would be these, four squared would be these, and you can rearrange these shapes and come up with cool formulas and all that kind of stuff, but just something to think about. Have a great one. I try to, you know how I like pictures, so I try to connect numbers with pictures whenever I can. Have a good one. I'll see you guys soon.